Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ghansyam Kumar and today we are going to learn how to use Wave User Control in ASP.NET Web Application. Let's click on New Project. Select here ASP.NET Web Application and uh, provide a name to our project. Demo underscore web user control and simply click on ok button select empty and click ok go to solution explorer right click on our project and select add and click on new item Select here waveform user control and uh, just name it. My control and click on add button. So here we can see that we have an empty page of wave user control where we can design our wave user control. Click on design and here is the page. Let's insert two rows into two columns and here I am writing name and I need a text box for him. So and I am age and text box for age click tab for new row and gender and i need two radio buttons double click on radio button right click on radio button and go to property to name and name it male and right click on radio button 2 and go to properties and name it email so here it is and address and i need a text box for address and click tab for neuro and i need a button yeah, and uh, name it submit. So here is my wave user control. Here we can see that there is text box, radio button, and button. So it consists of several ASP.NET controls. So to use this web user control simply go to solution explorer right click on project and select add and add new item. So here we are adding a waveform name it and click on add button. So here is our web page. So I want to use that wave user control in my web page then simply go to solution explorer and click on my wave control and simply drag and drop to my project and it is automatically added to my project if I go to design I can see that my wave user control is added to my web form and uh, it is working as a single unit so friends this is the web user control that we have designed and used in uh, waveform and if we want to use this web user control in another uh, web page then we simply go to solution explorer and uh, right click on project and add and simply go to 
add new item and select a waveform and uh, we, we will repeat the same step go to solution explorer and simply click the wave user control and drag and drop to the project and when we drop the wave user control a register directive is automatically added to our page that means if we remove the directive then our wave user control will not work we can see in our new web page that uh, wave user control is added and if you want to edit the wave user control then simply click on here and click on edit wave user control and uh, here we can edit the wave user control we can delete or uh, add some asp.net controls here so i am going to add a label here so a label is added here and uh, in this wave user control we can see that text box and uh, radio buttons and a new uh, asp.net control is added and if i go to my web page then i can see here that there is no label present here the change is not reflected to reflect the changes simply delete that and uh, add the user control again and we can see that the label is added to our waveform so friends this is all about working off wave user control in ASP.NET web application. I hope you like the video. One thing I want to say to you all is I want to thank my friend Vicky for encouraging me to use my own voice to describe a video and I want to thank you all guys for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe for more videos.